Hello again, welcome back. It's another a gameplay video from myself, uh, Chris Rocket, looking at the first of the climax of the uh, Civil War update. In this case, it's the Cougar, the Cougar Prime. Now, uh, the build is untouched. Uh, being an Omnimech, there's not really a lot you can do short of literally tearing it apart and changing it for what it actually is, so I can't do any modifications really to armor or heat sinks and the like unless I actually remove some ammunition or change the weapon. So it's pretty much stock. Now, the Cougar within Battletech's history is an interesting one. It was made uh, after the Clan War in the uh, late 3050s. I believe it went into production in 3058, but prior, it was like a year or so prior to that, was when the order was given uh, to start production on a brand new Omnimech. However, Jay Falcon at the time, of, I think it's just after the Refusal War, were low in resources and didn't necessarily have the means to build a new mech from the ground up. So the option that they went with was to take an existing Omni mech and build something around that. Almost uh, similar to the way the Hellbringer or Loki was built, the fact that they took a mech that existed, like the Warhammer, and modified that to create the Hellbringer. In this case, they took an existing Omni mech in the form of the Adder and keeping it at the same tonnage, they built something that was more heavily armed, but at the cost of speed. So the Cougar comes with two large pulse and two LRM-10, whereas the Adder came with a Flamer and two ERPPC. So trades firepower for speed, basically. As such, the Cougar has a very striking similarity in its shape, although it still looks very distinct, and yeah, I do like it. I really like the Cougar Prime. Uh, the Cougar development in general is quite nice, although my gameplay here doesn't reflect it and I have a reason for that. I was having a really rough time with MWO at this point. It kept crashing, um, it kept telling me that my files were corrupt, and then I ran the repair tool and it wiped the folder, and I had to download it on Steam, and then it crashed, and so after rebooting my computer I finally got everything to work smoothly enough to record the videos. So yeah, I wasn't in the best of moods at this point, so apologies for poor gameplay here. But essentially, the Cougar Prime plays a lot like the Adder in the sense it has many of the drawbacks of that mech in the sense that it has very low slung arms, it has, um, it, it's hampered by the fact that it doesn't have great speed, 89 kph before speed tweak, of course you can bump that up with speed tweak, it's still not going to make it the fastest of the clan lights out there. Its main emphasis is its weaponry options, uh, being able to bring a fair amount of pod space and as such I think the Cougar has uh, real potential uh, to be a popular light uh, on the field these days. I don't know whether it will really make any good use of things like ATMs or heavy lasers and the sorts that were introduced on the clan side in the Civil War update. However, um, Base is being the two large pulse lasers I think are pretty decent weapon options. They're hot and it definitely suffers from heat problems given the a uh, whole ghost heat issue and the heat scaling in game. Climax just don't really feel like they get the, the same efficiency out of their heat sink sample, so the Cougar is kind of hamstrung by that. Uh, you'll also notice a chunk of this match is me running backwards and forwards because at first people aren't going to the base, so I decided I was going to go to the base, and then four people start heading to the base, and that I would have been the fifth person. I thought, fuck that, I'll go back, I'll get to the fight. It was a miserable experience from start to finish, but as I record this now, it's getting on for three in the morning and uh, I just want to get something up on the channel for people just to see it in action. Hopefully, you know, you can at least see the cockpit and you can see it running around. You can see me play badly, so you can feel better about yourselves when you play it and go, ha, I did better than that fucking tool. And uh, you'll be right, uh, you will be doing better than this tool here. Uh, sadly, new clan mech, but still no ability to use any of the new weaponry that was added. Uh, again, this is just existing stuff from the 3050 invasion period. The Cougar has no real distinct weaponry compared to uh, the UZL, uh, where at least I got to use some of that new goodness. Um, yeah, kind of stuck. Uh, I think one of the other variants that come with a pack is legit and has that, although I was mystified why certain... Uh, models of the Cougar were not included in uh, in the game. Maybe further down the line they're going to sell them as separate reinforcement packs? I don't know. There's usually a lot of Omnipods and Omnimex that could be added and they never really bring them in. But then there's lots of variants of existing mechs, so I don't know what PGI's plan with that is. Maybe it's just too much effort to add extra variants. Or they could just add a whole new mech. But anyway, uh, do I like the Cougar? Yes, I do like the Cougar. I like its mix of hard-hitting energy weaponry combined with sort of middling LRMs okay, uh, capability for a light mech. It's a pretty decent punch. It looks cool. 
Uh, the speed is a minor drawback, but plenty of people are doing well in slow lights anyway for quite a while now. Um, if you were interested in getting another light, since this is the next new light after the Javelin, there's obviously they've been a bit few and far between, especially on the clan side, uh, it's not a bad mech to pick up. Although if you dislike the Adder, you may dislike the Cougar because they are kind of similar in the sense that they do have similar drawbacks with the way the, the hitboxes are laid out and such, physical similarities and all. So yeah, you may not like it if you didn't like the Adder. However, it's certainly one of the mechs I've always uh, looked fondly upon uh, within Battletech. Uh, really liked it in the uh, Battle for Coventry um, campaign book. Uh, that was a cool mech uh, to see. Uh, that's, I believe that's where it debuted. Uh, oh, that might have been the Cougar. Uh, there's the Adder and I think they've wanted the Cougar. Or the Pouncer, sorry. I think it was the Pouncer and then the uh, the Cougar. Yeah, so I think I think the Pouncer arrived and then the Cougar or the Cougar. I, it's somewhere around the Battle of Coventry. And, you know, I'll have to look it up at some point. But anyway. This one's wrapping up. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, it's a good mech, honest, and just really bad at the game, as you should all know by now. So, um, yeah. Have a good one, folks. Enjoy the update and all the new weapons all the rest of the come uh, from the PGI. And uh, I'll uh, see you next time. Goodbye.